in the Velveeta Room in Austin, Texas with Baked. And uh, they're about to play the Exploding and Sound Showcase here with a bunch of other bands on the label. Yes, sir. And uh, why don't we start by introducing yourselves from left to right? Your left. My left. Oh, yeah. Stage left. Stage left? Yeah. That's me. Uh, yeah, that's... I'm <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> I'm Jerry. Right. I play the bass. Yeah. Hi, I'm Miss Bella. I'm called Chris. I play the keyboard. And you sing. And I sing. I'm RJ. I play the guitar and I sing. I'm Steve. I play guitar. And I'm AJ. I play the drums. Okay. Yeah. So when did you guys get here? Two. Well, Steve got here, what, Monday? I came down with a separate band Monday. He's Nailed been touring with Stove and Avla, or Jack and Manassas, I guess Ian Sweet. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, the rest of us flew in Tuesday night. It was supposed to be a terrible snowstorm, 20 inches of snow, no way. Nothing. It got right Total off the ground. Price. Yeah. Good thing we didn't rent a van and drive 1,800 miles to get here. We did put that on the table. That, that was, was on the table option. Monday That was night. an option. You had to. You have to see. You have to make your shows. The hopes, like it always is, with, yeah. with northeast weather, mostly. And have you all played South by Southwest before? Yes. Yeah. This I is have. my first time. I haven't played. I mean, yeah. I played in Austin, but I haven't played like, okay. anything affiliated with South by Southwest. And have you played yet on this trip, or is this the first one? No, this is our first show. First, this first, 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 first trip. Have you seen anything? Yeah. Some. Some. Yeah. Just walking around. And we we. We did, a, did an interview yesterday in the club we were at. They had like an international artist, so some folks from saw a band from South America. Australia. Yeah, Australian, Australian band. Any names. Oh no, we're playing with that Australian band next week. Rolling Blackouts, Coastal Fever. Okay. They're a sub pop act, I think, but they ain't paying me to plug them, so. Yeah. Free publicity. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's just we're networking, man. You know, it's yeah. Like, it's a network. massive, massive network. Looks just like Elvis. Yeah. Are, are you pretty much just here to play, or is there acts you really want to see? Yeah, really, just here to play. I mean, we just we all love to rock. I mean, we definitely this today and tomorrow are all the bands we'd like to see. Really, you know, yeah. The Jackal and Avla. That's what I do. I come, I come down here and I see all my friends that I see back home. Amen. Yeah. Except all at once instead of waiting every few months yeah. depending on the album cycle for them to come to your town. Exactly. And then speaking of albums, yeah. you just put one out. Sure you did. Segway master. Wow. Yeah. Pretty you, good. It's almost like I am a pro. It's almost like he planned this. Yeah. And uh, the album's called Farnham. Can you talk about why it's called that a little bit? Yeah, at a roommate in college, a great visual artist, uh, unfortunately got diagnosed with brain cancer when he was 20, passed out when he was 21, and uh, used one of his screen prints from when he was, I think, 18 or 19, uh, the, the dead mice on yeah. the bottom right cover was a, a woodcut that he made back about 11 years ago or so. So I figured just use his namesake for the record, pay tribute to it. To a talented friend, get his artwork out there. Get his art out there. Well, that's, that's a good story. That's, I mean. Try to turn it around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the best of a bad situation. That's really what it was. And so we're not. We all like paying tribute to our friends, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've all lost somebody. Recently. Yeah. It's just the stuff of life. Yeah. Well, um, when I listen to the record and the last one, Debt, I hear, like, and I read this about you guys a lot that it, it spans a lot of different genres, you know, like shoegaze, like country. That, yeah. And what do, you, what do you think about that in general? Just like being, you know, having to be classified in a particular genre or people trying to, or are you just kind of doing what you're doing? I mean, I think uh, we all have, I think, always play in the things where we just do whatever we want. And I think it comes yeah. from having varied <laughs> taste and if you just are honest and don't yeah. try and put yourself in the box of being a shoegaze band or a folk band, then you can really, it's all just, you know, rock and roll and pop music when you boil it down, so to just pay a little homage and reference to some stuff that I think we all... Yeah, I mean, it, and, and, like, it's a story though, too, you know, like the record is, it's a story. Okay. You know, so like... It takes you up, yeah. rock yeah. and takes you yep. down to the valley, yeah, you gotta do that kind of stuff. And is that a, I mean, uh, is that a product of everybody contributing to the songs, or... 
Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Isabella writes, you know, she wrote the skeletons of her tunes, and I kind of come in with riffs, and we all fill it out, do part writing, you know, throw in an idea. We all pretty much write our own parts for the songs. Yeah. And, um, we write, like, that's why it's so hard for me personally to describe our music, because we pretty much just write what comes to us naturally. Mm-hmm. And that happens to be a bunch of different styles all yeah. condensed play, into play one. Play what and feels and right. Thing. Yeah. Like, Sometimes in the same song. song. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Why, why not? It, it, it's because... Life sure, isn't just yeah. one constant That's true. thing, you know? Yeah. Unless you're Dinosaur Jr. Yeah. That, yeah, I mean, yeah. but if you're really, really amazing Good at that at one thing. do it. Yeah. Like, if you make the best burger in the world, don't make me salmon. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. And, uh... Really like, the last half of Iron Mountain is, uh, Madonna coming in. Yeah. Stranger. Right. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Don't don't let her publisher know about that. Okay. Well, yeah, it was fun. And yeah. honestly, with a little direction from the producer Adam Reese, she you'd say, why don't you guys go back in, we'll, uh, you know, do it a little quicker and just extend the outro. I'll tell you when to stop. Oh, right. And that's how we got, you know, like the ending of yeah, yeah. Stuck in Iron Mountain. He definitely Big jam. That, right, the best out of you. Yeah, he really Fine. does. <laughs> And, and in a way that doesn't, it's not, it's, you want to it's, it's not something that you're taking as, because uh, I, I think people, you know, are pretty, I don't know what the word is, precious about their creations. Their yeah. yeah. Honestly. Uh, but I think that was a big, this business isn't precious. Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> that's why we, that's why we have Reese too, because Reese, you know, he gets it and knows how to make us feel comfortable and knows that we're going to be doing some varied stuff and he's great. Yeah. <laughs> part writer as well and really elevated a bunch of the songs that way but putting on a lap stealer nice clean guitar nice counter melody that none of us would have thought of so. right yeah, yeah. you have to be someone you to keep you all together sure like coach from other people yeah, he's, he's, yeah he's like you want to do good for the coach you want to give him the best takes and then you get to smoke yeah. weed and like eat a meatball part here he, he sets you up to succeed and but then you got to go play the game He'll, he'll Dude, throw you the softball. Yeah. yeah. You gotta knock Seriously, it out. Though, and yeah. he loves baseball. Maybe that's why he does it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we were just talking before we started this a little bit about how I think, Steve, you're playing in what, two or three bands tonight? I'm playing in Stove and Oblong. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of you guys do that, right? You're all. AJ's also in Boy Now. Boy Play of Titus. One of those, you know, the band of my brothers that I grew up with, basically. And that's all kind of centered around that Chase Stadium DIY. It's our, it's our Brooklyn, home base, yeah. no pun intended, yeah. I weaseled my way into it. Yeah. <laughs> we all did. Yeah. Well, yeah. We all came in as the scabs. We all, uh, yeah, we all kind of came from different, different aspects. Interesting note that I only realized a couple months ago. Sean Heaney yep. and I have the same first cousins. What? Get out. Yeah. That's crazy. Shit. Like, his, his aunt... Uh, is my mother's sister. So you're one degree of separation from the Heaney clan. I'm, I'm basically related to them. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Actually, I knew their grandmother before they were born. I was in That's their nuts. grandmother's house before they were ever a thought in anybody's mind. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. That's That's weird, fact. right? You gotta yeah. show up to Shea Stadium and get yours. Yeah. yeah. I get the family <laughs> discount. Yeah. True. Well, wait. All right, so I wanted to actually get into that a little bit about the DIY scene in general in Shea Stadium. Will I be able to show up to Shea Stadium? Hopefully. Again? Especially, yes, there will be a time right now that it's just kind of a transition period, uh, tightening up some loose ends, uh, with some fire code stuff. But yeah, there's going to be a time in the very near future where I think you'll be uh, well, that, that's good, dude. back at the stadium. And do, you, do you get a sense that that, um, that the city or the authorities or the man have gotten a little tighter on that stuff well, it's the USA. in general uh, definitely a lot of it yeah, came right. from hearing about it all over the Oakland, country yeah, Oakland, yeah. Like, especially since the Oakland that's what I mean like, uh, good it's a good thing for that they're check check yeah it should be safe it's like so many places that only have like one exit and everyone like you know we have to I mean the, the only problem is being Shay is like always it's really well set up for that right? yeah the only problem is being demonized because they like to link like radical liberalism with DIY show spaces, and oftentimes they don't go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you'll definitely get a lot of radical liberals, but it's not like a place where they're mongering a bunch of radical ideals. It's, yeah. a, it's a communal space where everyone respects each other, so that's why it's shocking to people in our position because we've been there for years and years, and 
all the DIY spaces across the country, you know, been going for years and years and know that they're, for the most part, safe places where they're looking out for the, the community of people who go there and looking out for the artists. And they're not fomenting kind of revolution. Goal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Maybe if you're playing, like, you know, some, some, uh, uh Part of it is like from that fucking list that somebody posted of all the DIYs. I have to yeah. open fire. Like, I don't know. Who but some people see the like list, a list and of DIY spots across the country. Of like, this is places to attack, essentially. And that's why, like, that drew, drew most of the attention. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of it is the polarization, obviously, with election and everything else of people. Right. You're either on far to one side or far to the other. There's no middle ground anymore in a lot of people's eyes. Because, mm -hmm. you know, the extremes to either end just can't even imagine a middle where people can have an actual conversation talk, about things exactly, exactly. Right, yeah. yeah it would be nice if they made it i guess easier for you to go and do all those things you know yeah. a lot of red, there's a lot of red tape and bureaucracy for, yeah for no reason but know? it's important to facilitate community and keep keep Where together yeah, exactly. yeah. but we well it's good to hear we bring the shade right here so people are just gonna <laughs> keep <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah. I'm sure the younger generation's already scheming up a bunch of house shows in Harlem and the Bronx and Brooklyn, Queens. At least making it happen out there. Yeah. They better they better carry the torch. We we passed it on at some point. Now that you're also old. Super old. Yeah. Yeah, we're old. So uh when you get back from here you're going on tour, right? Or uh, in a month. Like yeah, we got like a month off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh right, you're going right to Brooklyn. So yeah, we got a few one-offs. We're doing a show at Sunnyvale. When we get back, and then we're playing uh, with that band Rolling Blackout Coastal uh -huh. Fever at Baby's All Right a few days later, and then doing our fifth annual 420 show. All right. Got to do a 420 show. Yeah. Here. And then. Oh yeah. And then. In May, you're the kicking show off your tour. That is thanks to Jim. At the Saint at in the Asbury Saint. Park. Saint. And Lost Boy is going to be trying some new material out there. And some other yeah. bands from some New Jersey. Really cool new Jersey band. Will also be on there. The hottest young acts from, from Central and Southern Jersey. Central and Southern Jersey will be kicking it on a Tuesday night. Asbury Park, baby. And we're going to make that a uh, cheap show, five bucks. As it should be. And uh, all we want to do is put gas in the car and get to the next show. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll be able to do that. Amen. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks I, to you, Jim, for enabling that. And Scott at the Saint. Of course. And uh, well, so I want to do this to just be quick introduction. You guys got a show to get ready for. And uh, thanks a lot for all your time. Thanks for chatting. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. And uh, I'll see you in May. Can't wait. Yes. Can't wait. Thanks. It's going to be awesome. <laughs>